In this video, I'll show you how to add multiple subtitles to a video in DaVinci Resolve. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because you know if you've used DaVinci, you cannot add two subtitles and show them simultaneously. Therefore, by the end of this video, you should be able to add two or more subtitles, whichever you want, I'd recommend two, uh, to a video and also actually even ban the subtitles to the video and they all show up, up together. Now, uh, let's create a new project call it whatever subtitles and then just uh, click on create and we are right here inside the media section whatever uh, what we can do here is we can go to a folder uh, that I have a video and uh, the subtitles are just a bunch of them so we can pick this one I know this one is in English and maybe something that's in Arabic this one and then we can just drag and drop them here just click on change or whatever uh, really depends let's go to the edit page we have our video here and we can actually just drag and drop it to the timeline uh, right there so it looks good really good so if you just uh, right click add subtitle track uh, let's go with which one which one is this one uh, let's just drag and drop it here uh, let's see if you can just move this slightly is the English version yes looks good uh, we may need to just adjust the timing slightly uh, I believe we may need to just check the waveform a little bit uh, and then just make sure that when you do that uh, you select everything and move it to where you want it to be and we can zoom in so that we can see exactly where everything is so here we go the subtitles probably begin somewhere from this section so we can actually move all this this way because we already selected that so if we do that these subtitles are going to be in sync now if you'd like to add a second subtitle let's say go add subtitle drag we'll have subtitle track 2 and you can go with the Arabic just drag and drop it right there looks good we can zoom in actually when you see that you see it's not in sync and they should be in sync so uh, let's actually just uh, highlight everything there and then we can zoom in so that we can just match this to what we have here right there so those subtitles are in sync the problem with this is that it's not possible to show what one subtitle over the other for example the English subtitle is active the Arabic is not if I click on this you'll probably need to enable this and because this is Arabic you may not see it uh, as it is because you may need to change the style and then uh, decrease the stroke to zero and the subtitles will appear uh, so actually if I uh, bring this back up to one it disappears change the color to maybe something like a, a red or whatever click OK if I change the stroke size to zero uh, you'll see that actually uh, if I just copy this just that uh, change the color to red or whatever uh, they are available uh, and always ensure that for Arabic so that you can get the right to left you just do uh, remove the stroke or set the stroke to zero there is no clear support now that's the problem the problem has been identified you cannot showcase two subtitles at the same time now I'd like us to solve this let's just delete the SRT or the subtitles and delete or maybe actually delete empty tracks uh, that's okay uh, we can actually even delete the two subtitles from here so what we're going to do now is that we're going to convert the SRT subtitle files uh, the English version and the Arabic or whichever other language that you may have into a Final Cut Pro XML project and that's pretty easy I'll show you two ways the online method if you're using uh, maybe Mac and you don't have uh, subtitle edit and also using subtitle edit so let's begin by using subtitle edit let's open it up and then we can just go to file open navigate to the folder with the subtitle that you want I'll just scroll down and let's pick let's pick this one this is the English one click on open and it's available there and we won't need to do much just click on format and then scroll down to Final Cut Pro 
XML. There are a bunch of them. I'll use the 1.5 version. And then go to File, Save As. Then you can say uh, English or whatever. Just click on Save. That's done. Next up, for people who don't have or don't want to, to install Subtitle Edit, I'll go online. And you can actually go to this website, nixa.dk is the official website for Subtitle Edit. And then click on Subtitle Edit Online. Click on that. Uh, and once I do that, I'll need to click on Subtitle, New. And then from here, we can just click on Open. And you can browse to the subtitle uh, that you want. Uh, so let's click on Browse and, and navigate to the subtitle that we want. Let's go for the Arabic .ar. Click on Open. And this is the subtitle inside Subtitle Edit Online but we don't need to do any edits or anything of that sort. So just go back to uh, subtitle, save or download, and then change the format to Final Cut Pro XML. Let's go to F 1.5, click on that, and then click on download. Uh, this is actually going to download uh, onto your uh, subtitles or your download section. Now, if I check on my download section, there is a new file here, right here. It is this particular file. Now that we have converted our SRT subtitle file to a Final Cut Pro project or XML file that can be used in DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, and I believe Premiere Pro, we are ready to add our multiple subtitles to our projects inside uh, DaVinci Resolve. So uh, what we're going to do is that we are going to create just a new timeline, import, and then click on this particular option where we can import XML timelines or XML files, click on that and navigate to the file that you want to import or create a new timeline. Uh, let's actually let's begin with the English version. Uh, let's go with this one. Click on open. And from this, we can just title it English subtitles and then click on OK. And once you do that, we're going to get uh, this new uh, timeline that looks really good. It's in English and you can already see with a recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier. That's how that particular subtitle reads. Really awesome to see. So this is a, a new timeline and you can always see your timelines here. This is a timeline with a video and audio and this is a timeline with English subtitles. Now, uh, we can actually begin by doing this. Let's just copy this timeline copy and then we can just go to the second timeline here and then from here we can actually paste our subtitle up here uh, as an element uh, or more or less as content uh, to the video track so we can actually add a track and then we can uh, do this uh, sweet turn off the auto track selector and then turn off this one uh, and then we can just uh, control V and once we do that our subtitles will be pasted up here uh, they look good. Uh, we can actually just go back just slightly and move them slightly to where we need them to be. Uh, let's see. Let's zoom in slightly. Uh, sorry about that. Just move the subtitles as they are. They need to be somewhere there. Mm, let's go forward slightly, somewhere there. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before. To and you can see them up there. So we can actually just zoom in here and then just do this. Maybe uh, you may need to bring them down slightly. Just bring the Y to the left and you can already see the subtitles somewhere down there. And then we can change the color. Let's say you go with a, a pink or whatever. Here they are. Uh, if you'd like actually to add uh, maybe a stroke, you can do that. Uh, but uh, the, the stroke needs to be of a better color. Let's say we go with that. Uh, doesn't look good. Uh, what about the uh, background? Uh, we actually adjust the height slightly. Uh, doesn't look good. 
uh, doesn't look good so let's leave that as it is so we now have the english subtitle as uh, our second track here now let's create a new timeline and import uh, the xml file that we actually sent to the download section when we did the subtitle edit online conversion click on open and then we can title this arabic subtitle just click on ok and we already have this uh, already set up as it should be so we can actually just change the timeline slightly go back to timeline one uh, this is the auto track selector uh, so that uh, we can now uh, switch off this and turn off this and then we can just move this up slightly and then add a new track here uh, video track so since we already turned these uh, tracks uh, off we can actually add our new subtitles and i'll just zoom in slightly so i can try and match uh, when i paste uh, where this is and then we can just go to the timeline with the arabic subtitles and then copy these subtitles Control c and then go back to the timeline one and then we can just Control v now once we do that if we zoom out slightly uh we can now see that our subtitles let's zoom in our subtitles are now available on both tracks now because this is an arabic subtitle let us see what we get uh, from this particular result uh, let's bring this down we can actually see it up here so what we'll need to do we'll need to make uh, changes uh, to that particular track so just select all your subtitles here and then we can begin by uh, bringing them down slightly maybe somewhere down there and if we actually move this uh, you'll probably be able to see uh, where they are if you actually had a, uh, the stroke on the subtitles in arabic disappear uh, but if it's at zero the subtitles will be visible we can change the color to uh, maybe white let's actually click on this click ok and the subtitles will be white uh, they may not be as clearly visible as we would want them uh, but you can see them here if you if i actually play this with the recent update on the youtube interface it's now easier than before to download youtube transcripts hi my now, name they seem to be a little bit uh slightly fast uh if i actually uh so my goes hi my name is david they seem to have either skipped slightly uh, what we want uh, because if we listen here YouTube transcripts it seems like uh, they moved slightly right about here so you can just uh, change this to be uh, back on and maybe if uh, there's a, an issue with synchronization it is going to be just a very slight issue uh, right inside here that we can easily correct by just checking on that and maybe uh, just highlighting the clips where we feel they're affected and then we can just move slightly all those clips and then come back here zoom in and then bring this back to maybe somewhere there let's go up here and listen to this to download YouTube transcripts so this particular text should go up to here and the good thing is that you can actually adjust this text and then if we play hi my name is david yeah, i'm sure now that is in sync david from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning so actually it seems it's uh, an issue with maybe the xml or something of that sort but simply put if we look at the results that we're getting here is that we now have multiple subtitles available it's just a rule of thumb is that Try as much as possible to keep your subtitle to a one line if you want to use two lines uh, for subtitles uh, so that it makes it easier for people to read the, the content that is going on and then use fonts and colors that will be easily visible or accessible with the background that you're using. Uh, I know this video has been quite a lengthy one but I believe using the XML subtitles can really save us or help us add multiple subtitles uh, to a video uh, hopefully the folks at DaVinci uh, are working to make sure that the subtitle regions that they introduced uh, right here 
can accept let's let me just show you how the subtitle uh let's just minus this we can add another subtitle region uh, let's add a subtitle that they can actually support this to actually just allow us to pop in an srt subtitle file in the subtitle region that we want and it appears more or less uh, like what we just did uh, using uh, the uh, xml file or creating new timelines and then adding this uh, and as i've noticed we may need to make some readjustments to this so that they sync accurately with what is going on so that is how you can add multiple subtitles to a video in davinci resolve using uh, uh the f uh, the final cut pro xml subtitle format converted using any converter of your choice but i'd recommend you use uh, subtitle edit online or subtitle edit so that's it from me my name is david and until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching